Hey everybody, sorry for the delay between videos. Unfortunately, sometimes things like sickness happen and it put me a little bit behind. So I really missed putting out good quality YouTube videos about electric bikes. So let me give you a little teaser of what's to come. 2019 Rad Rover review. I had actually unboxed this a few weeks ago, but when I first went to turn the bike on, nothing happened. So it turns out the cable inside the frame which handles basically everything and nothing works without it, had come unplugged. I don't know if it was during assembly or if it was during shipping, but somehow that became disconnected. The bike wouldn't turn on. So I set the bike aside, not knowing what the problem was at first because I had other bikes to ship out and all sorts of other business stuff to keep moving, but came back to it, did a little troubleshooting, figured out that's all it was, got it plugged back in, which was a little bit of a pain because I had to pull the wire out and basically fish it back through and but that's taken care of so i will do a thorough review on the 2019 rad rover and a couple of quick notes a lot of people have been asking about the upgrade controllers i know they're on back order right now but i am expecting to have some arrive within the week which maybe by the time this video comes out they'll even be here one change that's different on the 2019 model is this right here the addition of the tail light so the current kit was made for the 2018 and prior model years and it does not have that tail light connection so be aware that i'm working on that but do not have a 2019 version yet it should work as long as you don't care about losing your tail light now for those that do care about the tail light and have gone to put on a rear rack they run into a problem with there not being enough cable right here some people want an extension so they can move that light i do have extensions now in stock so if you need those i've got them bikes have been selling out quickly this all-wheel drive model is one of them but prior to selling out i had a lot of people asking by email or on youtube videos or different places online how does this all-wheel drive bike which has a 350 watt motor in the back and a 250 watt motor in the front, a total of 600 watts compared to the Rad Rover. Kind of makes sense to ask the question because they're at very similar price points. Obviously the frame designs are similar. They're even available in the same color, black. This one's only available in black. So that's a, another video to come. Let's do a head-to-head -head comparison between the all-wheel drive bike and the 2019 Rad Rover. And of course, I had to take both of these for a spin just now, just for fun. So I have an idea as to which one might go better up hills or from a start, but I'm gonna leave that for the video. Remember, one pulls more watts, but one has two motors. So we'll see how that plays out. And to keep going with this black, orange, and red theme we have going here, this is a bike I've had around the shop for a while. It's a full suspension enduro style frame. A lot of people have seen this frame around on various production bikes or kit builds or DIY builds. It's got a large direct drive hub motor on the back. Now I've been wanting to sell this particular bike because I personally just haven't used it very much and I've got too many bikes around the shop. But before I do that, I've had a lot of questions about what exactly is the difference between a direct drive motor and a geared hub motor. So I wanna do a specific video on that subject and then put this guy up for sale locally. So if anyone's around Northern California and wants a beast of a bike, I'll have one of these, which hopefully I can then replace with something similar, but very, very different. And I said I was working on 24 inch fat bike suspension forks. Here is the first one. And I haven't forgotten about Tool Tuesdays either. I've had some people ask about that. And hey, where'd they go? But I will be doing a special installation video on suspension forks. That'll give me a chance to put this one on a 24 inch bike, test it out and make sure they're good to go for production. And last but not least, I got my hands on a very unique frame. As far as I know, not very many of these were built. The company is no longer making them. At least they didn't respond to any requests that I sent, but thankfully a friend had one for sale online and I snatched it up. So very unique frame, a lot of adjustability, 
designed specific for electric DIY builds. So even though I haven't been building any bikes lately because honestly I just can't keep up with the demand at the moment, I do want to try and do some custom builds here and there and it may take a little while to get them done, but I want to get people's input on what I should do with this frame. I have some ideas as far as how to put it together. I do like fat tires, but that does limit the choices because of this frame wasn't initially designed for large fat tires. Might be able to squeeze some things in. And I'm thinking it needs to have a unique look unlike anything else that's been built. And it should have because it kind of reminds me of a cafe racer style sort of thing, or it could turn into that. I think it should have lots and lots of power. And since I'm at it, we might as well look at one more project that's on the list. That's right, a Velo Mobile. And of course, I almost forgot, I haven't done a t-shirt giveaway in a little while. So here's the latest design that I've put out. If you'd like one of these, all you have to do is comment on the video and someone will randomly win one. If you don't want to wait, of course, you can go online and buy one of these for yourself. Thanks for watching my videos. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of the cool stuff that's coming up. If you have questions about e-bikes, always please leave comments on my videos. I do read them all, even if I don't get to respond to everyone. I try and get to those that I can. And I am building up a team and bringing on some help so we can get responses faster and respond to more inquiries wherever they are online, whether that's emails or Facebook, YouTube, wherever it might be. So thanks again for watching Bolton E-Bikes. I will be back soon. Also in the works, in addition to modifications and upgrades and reviews on bikes, I have three new mountain bikes that are now in stock in the US warehouse. I'm gonna have my hands on those. Haven't shown them in the video yet, but I will do a video review on those as well as a brand new cargo bike. Really excited about that one. That might be one that I keep around the shop for making deliveries or throwing my kids on the back. We'll see how those all work out. But once again, new mountain bikes, three of them. Anything from full suspension to a hardtail mid-drive with a thousand watts with hydraulic brakes for less than a couple thousand. It's going to be awesome. Really excited about all of those. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like. Like it a lot.